and the rights of American women to have an abortion will be severely restricted if the Supreme Court reverses its 1973 decision to legalize the procedure. Now, VOA's Veronica Balderas Iglesias spoke to activists on three continents and found grave concern about what a U.S. ruling over tuning Roe v. Wade could have actually around the world. It started before they were born, but now young people in the U.S. are joining the abortion rights debate full throttle. No no this group walked out of school to demand that abortion remains a privacy right under the U.S. Constitution. This is not only going to affect the women who are getting pregnant now, it's going to affect the women getting pregnant in the future, and it's going to affect all future generations if this is overturned. Also among the young are those who condemn abortion. They are energized after a draft Supreme Court opinion leaked to the public, indicating that the landmark 1973 ruling making abortion legal is in jeopardy. If that's the final ruling, the 50 states would decide what's allowed, and many want to ban or severely restrict abortion. Hopefully the Supreme Court makes the right decision and we're able to send the issue of abortion back to the states and really start hitting the issue of abortion um, in our local communities. Could other countries follow? The world is watching closely. When the United States takes such a bold and obvious anti-rights movement, other countries find cover in that. They use that as cover for then the anti-rights work that they do, specifically but not exclusively around reproductive rights and the right to abortion. Globally, 970 million women live in countries that broadly allow abortion, according to the U.S.-based Center for Reproductive Rights. Still, two in five women of childbearing age who want or need an abortion face restrictions. A mujer alguna? Mexico's high court ruled last year to decriminalize abortion, but only eight of Mexico's 32 states have taken steps to legalize it. What is happening in the U.S. is a warning sign, say Mexican backers of abortion rights. What the U.S. is teaching us is that our rights are always at risk, given that political environments could change. Anti-rights groups are always trying to come up with strategies to block access to women's rights. In Geneva, Switzerland, reproductive rights advocates aren't too worried about repercussions in Europe where abortion is broadly permitted. Poland, Malta, Liechtenstein, Andorra and Monaco are the five countries in Europe that still retain what we call highly restrictive abortion laws. My view is that the trend will remain overwhelmingly positive in terms of moving to recognition of abortion as essential health care. In Africa, only a few countries allow abortion upon request. One is South Africa, which legalized abortion in 1996. But opposition to reproductive rights could grow there with a U.S. reversal. In some of our facilities, there are people outside um, protesting, um, trying to um, prohibit the women from going into our facilities. The more that uh, it is reversed in other countries, then the same um, will apply um, in South Africa because people will just become bolder. The World Health Organization says restricting abortion doesn't stop it and that 23,000 women die each year from complications after unsafe abortions. Anti-abortion groups we interviewed dispute that argument. They want the U.S. to roll back a 49-year-old right they see as immoral. Most people don't understand how truly radical the American abortion laws are. We would hope that this would have an impact around the world uh, because when governments do tend to change their laws, they often cite American law. The way to compromise here is to help women uh, get through their pregnancies by providing them with housing, with medical care that they need, uh, with formula, clothing, and all of that. Veronica Valderas Iglesias for VOA News, Washington.